when it comes to Isaiah and getting him as an early enrollee, how beneficial can that be for him, and what have you seen from him so far? Tremendously beneficial, especially where I situation in terms of being able to get reps for him. It's been awesome. I mean, he's a really high level of intelligence for a young kid like to be able to, play or to, be able to pick stuff up. Because obviously, offense is still a little complex, and a lot of guys come from no huddle situations. Now, I used to read wristbands and all that stuff, so <laughs> it's been really fun watching him. He's a, it's been huge, uh, tremendously beneficial, and he's gotten a ton of reps, so it's been awesome. Really good. Skill set wise, for people that haven't watched him before, just how would you describe him? Um, a little brings? bit Jalen like. You never going to put that like it's not unfair to say that, but in terms of that, he's actually he's fast. So he's a 10 900 kid in high school, um, somewhere in that ballpark. So not Jason being fast, because that's really, really fast, um, but very fast. Jalen's got a little more twitch, a little more suddenness to him, to learn like that. J uh, Isaiah came in like 207 or 209, so a thicker type kid. A quick release, gets the ball out fast can make pretty quick decisions, can make plays with his feet. So that's where kind of those similarities are. Jalen's more loose, you know, kind of like loose and all over and so on. But arm strength is really good for young kids. So that's why I kind of, kind of like in that ballpark that type of skill set, I guess. And the different, but that the skill set's kind of in the ballpark. What do you tell a kid like that? You know, he's obviously got Jalen here and then Cole's yeah. done some things here too. What, what, what do you tell him about setting goals for year one and things like that? I, I, when we're, and this is going to be hard. You always want to say, well, you don't come to some place not to play, right? You don't come and say, I hope I go there and never not play. <laughs> so you kind of want to say, get that expectation that you want to play, do whatever you can to play. Because like some people used to say stuff like, hey, in the recruiting process, don't go there because they have two quarterbacks. So well, everybody does. Like you're going to go, you're going to compete everywhere you go. So I think that's one of those deals where I never said a kid, well, come here, you can play early. Come here, we only got one. You're going, or don't come because there's three. No, every year, you, most schools are going to recruit a quarterback in every class. So you tell them, set high expectations. Don't just keep on taking each play for what it's worth. You know, play at a time, one moment at a time, and see what happens. Coach, with Jalen. Is he able to move around a little more? Yes, it's been fun. He's done a really good job. So we're just moving him in a perfect pace. It's been fun. It's good to see him out. It's just it's fun to see him actually throwing football again. <laughs> so that's the fun part. So it's been really good. Really exciting to have. So I, I, and he's a very – well. you guys all know how he is mentally too. Really picks stuff up fast. So it's fun to have him out there and be able to go through everything. Whether he gets the rep live or not, he's still getting the rep. So learning the offense is huge. How do you feel like the quarterbacks as a whole are, are, are adapting to Coach Grimes and his system? Really good. I think it's been good. I think – the thing is they know me, so there, there's zero, they don't have to adapt to that. They know who I am and how I am. Um, and then Grimey's uh, been good. He's kind of said, Z, I trust you, I believe in you. Go ahead, go go, go, out, go coach him. We'll add some stuff in. Tell me what you think they can and can't do. And I'm one of those guys, that, just like I told you before the Andy, I'm like, I don't want to ever tell a coordinator, you can't do that because the quarterback can't do it. I hope they can do it. Whatever you want, let, the, let your um, imagination go and I'll let it go. So it's been, they've adapted really well. I think he's really good personality-wise for them. So it's been it's been fun. And what about your own relationship with him and kind of your co-offensive? It's been board? awesome. Yeah. It's been really fun. You know, because I think it's it's unique. It's always scary. You know, like he's the new one coming in, and we've all kind of been there. And the offense is going to stay kind of as is, obviously. But it's been a great, a great. It's been really fun to um, meet him because I heard so much about him, and then be able to coach with him and his knowledge. Because I always say this. Here's what I've always said. It was great with it, Coach K, and I love Andy, and it's been awesome. And then there's we did a good job as a team. And then when he leaves, you hope the program keeps growing. Someone else new comes in, they usually add something to it. So that's what's really cool. It's not, it's awesome what we've done. Now you get a new guy, a new voice, who's been to some great schools and great places, coach some really good, you know, offenses, and then you can add to us. That's what, it's been kind of exhilarating too for kind of add some new things. Oh, that's a good idea. And then you get a different view sometimes. Sometimes you have them see, oh, that's a good idea, a good thought. So it's been great. What does Jalen need to do, not recovery-wise, but developmentally-wise, to take his game to the next level? Um, I'm trying to think. As I have, it's been a while since I've seen him play, and that's sad to say. I'm trying to think. That is, uh, um, I always tell him to keep making great decisions, to keep working on the decision-making process, and keep figuring out what you can and can't get away with because he's so talented, and being able to know when you can go for it and cannot go for it. And kind of make that, I think that's, well, that's always that last step. I always tell them this, I go, the Aaron Rodgers, the Brett Favre, the Josh Allen, the Mahomes, they all push that line. And they figure out what they can and can't get away with. And the great ones learn what they can't get away with before the game's actually played. And they don't make that, but you got to try some things. So I keep trying to see what you can and can't do. And then hopefully minimize, keep minimizing the turnovers and all that stuff. But I thought you did a pretty good job. Oh, Coach mentioned under center is something that Coach Grimes talked about. Yes. Doing a little bit of just for each quarterback's coach, like how does that change what you coach the guys? I'm right up? in, man. I'm Minnesota. That's all I was, man. Not all. <laughs> we did a lot of it, so I've done a lot of it. 
to where I've been, but Minnesota with Coach Kill, we were kind of more under initially, then became pistol and gun in a mixture, so it's easy to coach it, so it's easy to to combine that, not be like, hey, I've done that thing for like 10 years, like, whoa, and so on. So it's been, it's been kind of fun to add to it. It's, it's more um, stuff to do individually-wise to kind of work the focus. It's so much fun to do the footwork-wise. Um, and then I, I always say this, with guys who ever want the potential of the next level, a lot of those teams still do a multitude of under and pistol and gun. So that's been really fun to kind of say, hey, we're going to keep helping you build as an overall quarterback. So it does take a little bit of time, but they really get excited about it. Cause see, yeah. And then it helps with, we all know that you go under center, it helps with the play action stuff. And everybody always says, pistol, gun, it's, it's not as much play action as under. Because you always wonder why the NFL guys are still, a lot of them go under a lot because so many colleges aren't. But it's a play action element and being able to do some different things in the run game to help us. That's been really fun. It's been really good. We talked mentioned. to Lance earlier. He mentioned Mikey Pauly as a guy. To yeah. What do you see from him? Good. And you know, you guys know Mike being a Casey kid, and they want to stay championship. And he's a multiple sport kid. I tell you, I mean, you know, you guys all know him, baseball and football kid. So it's been fun to watch his progress because when you go to college, as a 50 baseball and football, well, you're not putting it all into it yet. So you're losing a spring in Nebraska or whatever you know, playing baseball, or however that goes. Then you come here, decide I'm going to do this. Then all of a sudden, the uh, uh, coordinator changes all the stuff and it takes a little bit of time to get it all. So I think he's finally settling in. And figuring out, hey, this is what I want to do. And the big thing for him is just, he's got a live arm, and he's athletic, and he's strong. And he's a big kid, just to stay loose and not overthink things. He over, got look what young guys do sometimes: overthink and try too hard to, to be too perfect. Instead, just go play. I've seen a lot of fun things because he's on the move. has been really fun to watch, and that's what's really good because he's an athlete. He's he's a big kid that's athletic too that can move. So it's been really fun. Coach mentioned Cole's aggressiveness. Is that similar to what you're talking about with Jalen? Just finding where to walk that line. You don't yeah, want to yeah. shoot down, but yeah, because yeah, yeah. So that's a good way to say. That's a nice way to say it, isn't it? <laughs> because you want. But in practice, you have to live. I've always said this. It's not easy. Sometimes I feel bad for Lance sometimes or for Grimy because sometimes like you kind of have to. You kind of have to let them take chances to see what they can and can't do. So you're not going to lose. Like I've always said, I'm not losing practice. Like I don't think our defense is on our schedule, right? For our offense to play. So we're not going to lose a practice. I think every rep you gain something. Like there's never a bad rep in practice. Now the result's not always good. We all know that in terms of, ooh, that's not, <laughs> that would have been bad. But it's not a game. That's the only way you learn sometimes. So yeah, sometimes trying to do too much because those he is such. And I think as you guys talked, you probably just hear him and his dad too. They're such ultra competitive people, and he's so ultra. But like, like dude, you got to turn. Hey, if, let's say you bobble a snap. Don't try to hand. Like it's it's over. Let's minimize the damage. Let's move on. You don't always you can't always go and make a bad play better. Sometimes a bad play, but don't make it worse. So that is it is. And sometimes you see something like, can I make that throw? And then you learn like, well, no, you can't. <laughs> but you can't know until you try it. So that's just fun. So yeah, that's what I'm still trying to do. Is that how you would prefer to have it though? Have yes. to reel them in rather than get them going. You'd, rather, you'd much rather have them go that way. You know that stuff. So it's a little bit like, well, you know, Jason was too sometimes. Like, there was some. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and you kept reeling, and all of a sudden, after a while, you're like, "Hey, we're pretty good." So it's fun. But yeah, it's it's, it's easy. It's me. I'm like, yeah, this is how you. That's how you learn.